Hello and welcome to our channel. We take you around the ancient city of Pulanaroa in Sri Lanka. We hired a vehicle and driver to take us to Pulanaroa via Annaradapura, taking us about a day to get there. You can purchase your tickets for Pulanaroa and the ancient ruins from the Archaeological Museum. It should cost about $25 per person. Pulanaroa was first established by the Chola dynasty in the 10th century. The royal palace would have been a magnificent structure, measuring around 31 metres by 13 metres and constructed by Prakrama Bahu I. It is said to have been a seven storey building with the walls about three metres thick with great holes that would have held floor beams. But well, what you see now looks like giant molars. The royal bath, now known as Kumar Pokuna, has a design feature that gathers water from the adjacent watercourse but also has an outlet to drain used water. Now the pavilion next to the bath must have been used as the changing rooms. The audience hall is another of one of Parakrama Bahu I's beautiful structures. What we love is the intricate detail of the carved elephants, each with different poses, with the proud lion standing guard at the top. By following the steps up, you enter an area of a beautiful group of ruins known as a sacred quadrangle. There's a number of monuments to explore in the sacred quadrangle, but the main attractions are the Watadage, Nisankalata Mandapa, Atadage, Satmahal Prasada, Hatadage, and the Bodhisaraya. The first ruin we came to in the sacred quadrangle was the Vatadage. Now the Vatadage is thought to have been built during Parakrama Bahu's reign. It was to hold the sacred tooth relic of Buddha. There's four entrances facing the four cardinal points with four Buddha statues seated around. The Hatadage was built by King Nisanka Mala. According to historical references, the ancient shrine was built in 60 hours, for which the name derives. Hatta, translated from Singhala, meaning 60, while Dage means relic shrine. The Atadage is the oldest building in the sacred quadrangle. It would have been a two-storey building and may have been built by King Vijaya Bahu the Great as the Temple of the Tooth. The second storey was probably made of timber and the roof had wooden beams and covered in clay tiles. Little is known about the ancient name or the builder of Tuparama Image House, but this is the only ancient ruin in Pulanaroa 
with its roof that's well preserved. It is not clear if this is, in fact, the Satmahal Prasada, although there are references of a Satmahal Prasada being built in Pulanarawa, but there is no evidence that this is that building. The seven-storey structure built in a steep pyramid form could be a rare stupa. According to inscriptions, this structure could be identified as Nisankalata Mandapa, the unusual pillar type simulates the lotus stalk and the flower. Further inscriptions also confirm that King Nisanka Mala listened to Pirit here. One of the best ways to get around Pulanarua is on a bike. There's plenty of hire shops in the city, but if you don't want to break out in a sweat, you could always hire a tuk-tuk. We did just that. It is the more expensive route to go down. It can be a little bit quicker, but is the experience going to be any different? It's up to you. Rankoth Vihara Stupa was built by Nisanka Mala, who ruled the country in the 12th century and is the largest stupa in Pulanarawa. The diameter at the base is 550 feet and at a height of 108 feet and made from brick. The origins of the Kiri Vihera Stupa is not known, but what is known is that it's the second largest in Pulanarawa and the dome is made with lime plaster, making it a better preserved stupa compared to most others in Pulanarawa. The Lanka Tilaka Vihara was built by King Parakrama Bahu and is considered to be the largest image house in ancient Sri Lanka. Now the building and the Buddha statue is built from clay. As reported in Chronicles, the Lanka Tilaka Vihara has five storeys with parts of the original staircase remaining today. The Gal Vihara also known as the Rock Monastery, was created during King Parakrama Bahu I in the 12th century. Now there's four statues of Lord Buddha carved into the face of the granite rock, three large statues, one standing, seated and reclining. The fourth is a smaller statue seated inside the rock. The majority of the ancient city of Pulanarola is within the vicinity of each other. However, the Potgal Vihara is located outside the sacred city. Potgal Vihara is a superb example of Asian art. It is believed to be King Parakrama Bahu, but some scholars believe it could be Palasti, Augusta, or Kapila. As you explore other regions of Sri Lanka, look out for the moonstones at the Buddhist temples. But note that in Polonarawa, the bull is missing. Now historians believe that the bull was removed from Pulanarawa's moonstones because of South Indians customs and traditions in the era. Thank you for watching, we hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button followed by the bell, that way you'll never miss a thing. Check us out on social media for our latest travel adventures and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.